Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create these interactive cards with Flutter. This cards that the background image and also the shadow will follow the mouse. And before we get started, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. So let's get started. This is my main class. Here I have a material lab and a return a column. Uh, in my column, I will just add uh, create my iCard, which is simply a new widget I just created, which is a stateful widget return a container. So I'm going to add in my main class. I'm going to just add. Now, instead of container, I need a mouse region. Um, so I need something to detect how we are hovering or not. So I'm going to need a boolean. And also I need a offset for the mouse position. Um, on hover, on enter and on exit. And also I need set state for all of them. On enter the is hover will be true. And in on exit it will be false. And in on hover, we're gonna update the mouse position. I'm gonna multiply the delta by a small number in order to make moves very small. Now we need a container as the shape of our body. Uh, so our container needs a height and width. And we need a child for it. It will be a stack to store all of the informations like the gradient um, and the image and the image expanding. So we need a stack. Now let's create the first elements. The first element will be the image. We need to return a position in order to uh, change the size based on mouse hop. Uh, I'm going to use animated position to be smoother and I'm going to use a curve in order to uh, to make it uh, much smoother. So I'm going to use a curve. It will be is out cubic and we need a child. The child will be a container uh, and the width will be like always more than the actual widget size. Here we specify two 500 and we need a decoration to add image the decoration image and image it will be asset image I'm gonna use this battlefield poster I want to change the size of this container based on the mouse hover so how to do this simply our height is um, 250 I'm gonna just change it based on the hover so how we do this so we have height for animated positions I'm gonna say is hover uh, if you're hovering it will be like 600 otherwise just the original size and for the width just simply 500 uh, I'm gonna add a white color here to uh, see the background and what we not did here we need to fit this uh, it will be box fit with the height and now when we see the size will be bigger it's not in the center how to do this left property here to specify make sure it's based on this hover so if we are hovering a negative let's say 60 other white again negative 60 we can use hundred so it's in the center uh, so it's not uh, scaling from the center uh, so to do this we need to also change the top property it will be again based on this hover top will be negative let's say 30 otherwise 0 let's say 40 so as you can see it scales from center now let's say we want this uh, image to move with our mouse uh, to do this simply for top values if hovering uh, we're gonna say it's plus the mouse position dot dy and for left just plus mouse position dot dx now it moves with our mouse. Let's add some uh, gradient here, a black shadow here uh, when we are hovering. So here I'm gonna call this one gradient. I'm gonna return a container. Container, we need a decoration and a gradient, linear gradient. We need some colors. So the first color will be a black and the second one will be transparent. It will begin from bottom center to top right. And add it to the stack and you will see it. So this is how it changes. 
but it's not changing with our mouse hover. So we need to change the opacity with hover. So how? Simply, it will be an animated gradient. Position milliseconds, thousands, and same curve. Also, we're gonna change this with, we will change it. I'm gonna say if base bump is hover, so it will be 0 0.8, otherwise just zero. Great, and now let's create some shadow. The shadow will be for the main container, so I'm gonna add it here. I'm gonna add a decoration and the shadow. So the box shoulders blurry radius will be changed based on hover. And separate radius will be changed on its hover. It will be five, otherwise just two. And the color will be color gray, shade 300. And now let's add some text beneath here. Learn returning column, main axis alignment, main axis alignment, and here on children's, I'm gonna wrap this with animated default text style. We need to specify duration and style. For style, I'm gonna change the color based on the color. If it's hover, it will be 0, 1, and otherwise it will be 0.0. Six. and add some size let's say 25 and let's add it in to our stack and let's add it to our stack i'm going to add cross axis alignment to center and also add, wrap it with a container and add a width of double of infinite so it will be in center and it's it, you get the idea how to use mouse positions and mouse regions. And thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and leave a comment.